what's so exciting <laughs> today. Um, you know, as I was thinking through everything, uh, Lindsay, we go back a couple of years, um, probably about 20. Um, and I can remember watching you grow and uh, just seeing all the neat things that God did in your life. Um, I remember the porcupine adventure. Um, she almost got me in trouble with the porcupine in the camp kitchen. But uh, tonight, remembering meeting you at Grandma Ruby's uh, for a barbecue yeah. and, uh, and praying for you at that time. And then uh, I'll never forget that Sunday morning that you were in church and you committed your life to Christ. And you've been a different man since. Um, and it's been so neat to see you guys. And uh, especially today, as you guys make these vows together and a commitment to each other with all of us as witnesses, but especially before God, that's the most important. And so in keeping with tradition, who gives this woman to be married to this man? You guys can uh, stand there. You know, there's there's so many scriptures that I could share with you guys. Um, you know, at a time like this. In fact, uh, you know, we could go through First Corinthians chapter 13. We could talk about love and what true love is. But you know, as I began to pray, and I just wanted to have something key for you guys. Um, I actually came up in. 1 Corinthians 16, 14, and it boils it down to four words of instructions. And it says this, it says, do everything in love. And I don't know about you, but I like things that are simple. I can remember small, simple things, but do everything in love. Um, this follows words of instruction of being on your guard, um, which means that, you know what? Satan will try and destroy your relationship. And you have to be on your guard. It also says to stand firm in the faith. Because when you have God where he should be in your life, then everything else falls into place, including your relationship with each other. It also talks about being courageous. That means that you could tackle everything with the strength and wisdom that God gives you. And finally, being strong. Of course, the strength that you need is given in Christ each and every day and you know it says God has given us everything we need for life and for godliness which would include marriage of course and your family but it's through his divine power and so knowing those things um, I just want to encourage you guys that today as you begin this new journey together of us that you always keep him first and so uh, I'm going to have you guys join hands Actually, you could do that right now. Okay. I'll let you do that. Yeah, we weren't going to do this, are you? Yeah, we're always fast. Well, <laughs> yeah, we got the right balance. I love you because you're hardworking, adventurous, and strong. I love your love for our family and my family just as much as I do. You're my best friend, my teammate, my soulmate. You're the love of my life, and you make me happier than I ever imagined I could feel, and more loved than I ever knew was possible. You make me unbelievably proud, and I promise that I will make you proud as your wife. I gotta listen to you and to learn from you. I gotta laugh with you and to cry with you. I value our dis differences as much as I do our common ground. I promise to put all of my effort into strengthening our marriage and giving you the best version of Lindsay Ray. I promise to put God first in every decision and situation and to continue to ask him to show me how to love you like he does. Tonight, on my good days and bad, rain or shine, I'll love you forever. I'm so blessed to call you mine. So, Tanaya, do you accept this responsibility to be Lindsay's husband? Do you promise before God and all of us 
to love and to cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others, keeping only unto her for the rest of your life. Amen. And Lindsay, do you accept this responsibility to be Tanaya's wife? Do you promise before God and all of us to love and to cherish him in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, forsaking all others, keeping only unto him for the rest of your life? Absolutely, I do. Go ahead, Tanaya, if you'll take the ring and put it on Lindsay's finger and then repeat after me. I, Tanaya. I, Tanaya. Take you, Lindsay. Take you, Lindsay. As my wife. As my wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Encourage you. Encourage you. To always be there for you. To always be there for you. To lead you. To lead you. And our family. And our family. With God's help. With God's help. For his glory. For his glory. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. To represent my love. To represent my love. To show all others. To show all others. That our love is true. That our love is true. And forever lasting. And forever lasting. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Lindsay, if you'll take the ring and place it on Tanaya's finger and repeat after me, I, Lindsay. I, Lindsay. Take you, Tanaya. Take you tonight as my husband. As my husband. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To encourage you. To encourage you. To always be there for you. To always be there for you. To live my life for God. To live my life for God. With His help. With His help. And for His glory. And for His glory. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. To represent my love. To represent my love. To show all others. To show all others. That our love is true. That our love is true. And forever lasting. And forever lasting. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, by the power invested in me and before God, I now pronounce you man and wife. In taking the steps that follow this moment in time, remember always the solemn vows that you've made before us, but more importantly, before God. The covenant that you've made with each other and with God. Love God, and as you love God, you'll love each other and others serving him. And uh, I tell you what, as the very first part of marriage, just as a sign, um, you have this rope to, uh, to braid to show your unity. And to me, I would just tell you that as I see it, one strand would represent you, Tanaya. The other one would represent you, Lindsay. But then the third one is God. And as the three come and become one, that is a cord that cannot be broken.
stretch. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, I want to pray a prayer of blessing over you too. Um, again, thanks for letting us share this day with you. Um, and then after I pray, then you can kiss your bride. God, we thank you for Tanaya and Lindsay and Kelowna. God, for Ira. God, I ask that your blessing would be upon them. Father, that you would go before them, that you would go behind them. Father, that you would hem them in on all sides. God, that you would guide and direct them. God, in this marriage. And uh, Father, as they continue to follow you, God, may your path be just lined out. And Father, that uh, your direction uh, clear. God, just bless this marriage with the love that you have for us. And God, may it be in them as well. We thank you and we praise you for that. Amen. Amen. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> and may I be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Tanaya Morelli. Mm. Powers. Mm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um,